What's going on everybody? Welcome back to G-Miles World and Madden 20 just got another update and it applies to the entire game but we're going to obviously be talking about Madden 20 Ultimate Team. That's what we do here. Everything else, you know, whatever dog. It doesn't really matter. We're straight mud heads here. If you're in the mud, type M-U-T in the comments because that's what it's about. Now, what I'm in right now is the defensive playbook for the uh, Chicago Bears. Now, the reason that all of you guys that are watching this video is probably going to want to go over to the Chicago Bears defense and Madden Ultimate Team is going to be because they got the two new uh, defensive formations that people are going to probably be starting to run right now. So um, you probably want to get on that right now. The nickel 245 odd and the nickel triple, those are going to be some of the defenses that people are going to be looking to come out and do whatever they want with. I'm very, very certain that people are going to have videos out about, you know, unstoppable A gap and all kind of crazy stuff that's going to be coming because that's just what happens with these type of formations when you start to manipulate the way that this, uh, you know, the D tackle sits over the center, the way you're going to have linebackers over guards. It's a lot of different things that manipulate the AI in Madden, and that's been what has made champions and what has made losers in the past. Now, do these defense these defenses that are added uh, necessarily help with stopping the run? Probably not. So if that's what you're looking for, you're gonna probably still have to fall back on that 3-4, which is why this is just perfect. You don't need any of the hybrids with the 4-3. 4-3 has been absolutely garbage this year. It's been one of the rare years where I haven't even used it at all, because it sucks. Goal line has added 6-2, which gives you the you know better angles on blitzes to come down in for the run. Um, you'll see the way that they spread. 60 out automatically looks really, really good to me. Uh, having more linemen out there. Well, I think you only have two uh, D tackles and everybody else, you know, you have the other D linemen and linebackers and you should be able to manipulate the way that it works. But for those guys that come out running like that far, the far set, uh, far close or whatever it is on the West Coast, these defenses right here, I think those were uh, specifically uh, designed to be put in things like guts that'll come straight down and shoot the gap. It looks like that might be what EA was thinking about as they added some of these things in. So I'm gonna go ahead and urge all of you guys to go ahead and switch over to the Chicago defense. Obviously, if you're running the dime uh, 146, you won't be able to do it because they don't have the dime 146. But for me, I don't run dime, dime 146. I have my double A gap, I have everything else in there. So it works out for me. Um, for you guys that run the 146 as your major blitz package, uh, there are other defensive playbooks that you can use that have added new play, uh, new players and things like that. I mean, not new players, new plays into it. So you can go ahead and dabble with it. But those two formations are going to be probably some of the glitchiest ones. So let me go ahead and check to see if I already have a Bears playbook in my ultimate team. We're going to go over to team strategy and check that out real quick. Uh, defensively, we've been running with the Jets for a while. Um, do we have a Bears? No, we do not have a Bears. So what you can do instead of buying it, um, you can just go ahead and use your theme uh, theme builder. If you've been grinding solos, you should have like theme builder tokens left over. You can just go inside of that uh, section uh, and um, pretty much we should have the, uh, where the Bears? Where the, okay, there you go. You should be able to uh, be able to put one of your theme selected tokens in here where you get all the playbooks, you get everything, uh, the coach and all that stuff from here. Uh, and then go ahead and utilize it in game instead of having to buy it or using your training points to get it uh, So pretty much with the defensive playbook We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna equip that as our new defensive playbook Okay, everything else we don't need you can sell it if you want doesn't really matter, but they have good stuff going on there I want to talk about the X factor also that is only available uh, available for Peyton Manning right now Omaha you can pretty much once once you get in the zone you can see defensive uh, cornerbacks the zones that they're in now that's really, really, really glitchy. But is it worth it for us to go ahead and get uh, Peyton Manning? I don't think so. I think the guy sucks. That That's my personal opinion though, guys. I think he's a, a terrible quarterback in Madden Ultimate Team. Uh, you can, in franchise, get it for any field general, but at this time, it's only available for Peyton Manning. So before we get into more stuff with the video, let's go ahead and currently check what his price range is looking at um, you know, right now. I Like I said, honestly, I don't think it's worth it because at the end of the day, the dude literally can't, like the way that they have him set up, they didn't talk about really patching anything with the way that he throws the ball. Uh, Peyton Manning, okay, so he's still around the same price, so nobody really cares anyway. And no, Oh, but you can see that his power up went up in price to 55. Um, I don't know what that's all about, but it, it, it is what it is. I don't think anybody's going to really be looking to get him, especially if you've already had him and you raid sold him the way that I did. Uh, also, if you wanted to do it and you didn't want to spend the extra money for the power up, I think 
you could just go ahead and complete the uh, set for him in the most feared and you go from there okay now other things that have been added to the game they've uh tuned zone coverages uh a lot of complaints you know like how you would come out like dudes are running around in the base cover three and with their base cover three, they're doing whatever they want and it's covering everything. Now the zones are more adapt to what they're supposed to be playing. So you're not gonna have that issue where dudes are covering multiple routes and do whatever they wanna do. They're gonna stay in their specific zones uh, the way that they're supposed to. Have they unlocked this yet? No, this is still the old one, right? All right, so that's fine. Okay, you gonna boot me? Boot me then. Yeah, just boot me. You boot me all the way back to the beginning. Okay, good, good job. Okay, cause that's all canceled. I think that's already um, expired. Obviously you have up until I guess 10, 10 o'clock a.m. Eastern Standard Time, the Tuesday of the following week to complete that. So uh, usually that's how they let you know, look, you're done. You know what I'm saying? You're getting booted out of here. All right, so let's go over to, um, what, what have we been trying to complete? The journey. Let's jump into a journey and let's talk about, you know, other things that have been patched, okay? Uh, getting back to the zone coverages. Now, with the cover twos, they've also tuned that as well. All right, so, as you look for um, different ways to, uh, you know, get open and, you know, do whatever you want, the cover two should play more like a basic cover two. So if your pressure doesn't get there, obviously the middle of the field should now be open. I haven't tested out uh, any of this stuff yet because I just got the title update. I'm just sharing with you guys everything that's going on, all the, the huge factors. And one of the biggest things is just making sure you guys know where you get all these new defensive formations. Like you gotta go and start experimenting with it, see how they play where they are, see the positions that you could put them in, like do all that stuff now. Because once you get into a game and somebody starts running it on you, it's gonna be very, very shocking. Like you'll be like, yo, what is going on right now? So what is this? What 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 is this? What playbook is this? Did I put the, oh, no, what? Bro, Ace Wing, what, what, what is this? I don't even know what this playbook is. It don't really matter though, I'm gonna have to go back and see why it's changed. Wing and slot flex. Bro, what is, yo, this playbook is trash. Did they just automatically switch my playbook? I, I don't know what's going on right now. What, what did that say? I, I don't, I can't figure out who, is this, is this the Bears offense? This better not be the Bears offense, like, like low key, who's, is that Tyree Kill over there? Low, low key though, like, did they just automatically change my stuff though? All right, now that, that safety is gonna go over there and probably pick it. Okay, good job, good job, nice play. Um, pretty much what's happening now is, against the CPU, they have tuned the AI as well. That's also another addition to it. All right, this should be, this should have, uh, okay, it has the triple. All right, the double A gap is there, and then it has two, where's the odd? Okay, there it goes. All right, so let's, um, let's try out triple. What is triple doing? Can we come out here and run something? Is this triple? No, hold on, what are we in? No, that's two, four, five. Let me call a timeout. Let's come out and triple and see what's going on. I, I have to actually, um, you know, change up the way that my players are. So first, okay, so Julius Peppers on the outside. Aaron Donald, Alan P who else can go there though? Both, okay, see these are only D tackles. Okay, this guy, we can put linebackers out there. All right, let me, let me just pick a play real quick. Let me just pick a play. All right, first, let me see what the, okay, that moves them back like that. All right, um, let me see what he does. Okay, so that guy, the way that they're playing, okay, I see what's going on. Let me get that, let me get that fumble real quick though. I see what's going on. We can't, we, with that, with that defense, you're not gonna want, you're not gonna want to show blitz or, uh, you no, know, baseline show blitz, like typical stuff. You're gonna want to stay away from that. It brings your safety down too low. It's definitely the best way to get burnt um, with what I'm looking at right now. I just want to know what playbook this is because I honestly have no idea. I thought I, I thought you guys just saw that I only did it for the defense. I don't know what exactly is going on. All right, what is he doing? Okay, why did he just, uh, he dropped it? All right, so that safety is playing a little bit solid. That looked like a cover two, yeah. Um, why is my, uh, let me see, I guess we could probably, because with the way that that is, usually, like I said, you know, I love me some, um, I love me some Raiders playbook, but with the way that this playbook is, I don't think it really matters. We should still be able to do whatever we want. It's just the fact that, you know, like when you see something and you know EA has done whatever they wanted, maybe when you change that playbook, you got to do it now from the home screen. That could be something that's kind of weird with it. I don't know. But I just wanted to make sure that I give you guys a little bit of insight into the defenses and try to kind of figure out the way we can, you know, manipulate it and how we're going to be sending a lot of pressure because that's ultimately what we're going to be facing. So with this right here, we'll come out in the triple again. The original play that I just picked, that was nickel blitz. And then all I did was baseline and show blitz to see the way that, it, you know, they'll align. But I'm gonna try now 
I'm not going to do any of that. I'm going to just keep them back and see what's going on. Also, you want to make sure that your players are in the right spot. So obviously, with Triple, uh, I, I always want him there, and I always want Jadavion Clowney here, so they're actually in the right spots. Um, Jalen Ramsey probably shouldn't be there, though, and I would want to probably squeeze Lawrence Taylor in somewhere. All right, this is the cover. What am I in? This is the... Um, the cover one blitz. Let me, maybe if I blitz him off the edge there. Okay, that's I'm only sending four right there. All right. So Ramsey being a slot corner, I kind of like that. Let me see what else we can do. Okay, that nickel blitz right there. Let's do this. Let's pinch the line. How do they pinch? All right, Sanders comes down here. Okay, that guy is blitzing, so that's Lewis. All right, so right here, we pinch him, and that guy's coming off the edge. All right, so run play. All right, because I think that this might be the new glitch, the new nickel blitz. Just based on seeing the way that it is, let's just pinch the line put that guy over there and I think I want to move him in a little bit let me see if he screams off that side oh is he gonna scream uh, okay so one okay so that 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 coverage I, I would probably um, I would probably lean towards the triple and see maybe with the pinch maybe we don't have to pinch I'm gonna play around with it but that's gonna probably be you know what I'm gonna do that's gonna be exclusive member content that'll probably be my first member exclusive content when we look over the new playbooks how does that sound if you're a member on the channel you can say yes sir you know what i'm saying because i'll see the globe i'll know what's up um i think that that's what i'm gonna do we'll, we'll go and look through the playbook and uh kind of give you guys uh the exclusive uh things from that but i think i just found something there that we could probably uh utilize and just do whatever we want to do to our opponent in all honesty um i actually i actually like this right here because if i leave if i leave um joe thomas there and run the ball on that side I probably should have uh, good protection. Oh, is he, did he? Okay, he did the animation where he's jogging with his butt cheeks wide open, bro. All right, that zone peak. Do they have a regular just inside zone? No, they got the zone peak. Because you know like how they tuned um, Nasty Streak? This is naturally, um, like he's just over there doing that. So, okay, but this, yeah, that run, that run won't be good. Also, if I get Blitz heavy in this formation, it probably wouldn't work out too well for me. Yeah, I just looked at it. I don't, I don't really like it, the way that that is. They got Trips Offset. Um, let me see how Trips Offset looks. Because pretty much when you're playing these solos and you're playing Journey, you're just looking for the fastest way to score. That's all you're really doing. So let me see what we're doing here. Okay, so he's just gonna, he should be able to outrun him, right? Is it all the way to the back? Okay, he got us two feet in. It's not? Are you kidding me? Bro, how was that not two feet in? what it looked like it was though I, I don't that looked like it was two feet into me guys I, I i don't know maybe i'm seeing things I, I this formation looks glitchy though this formation looks really glitchy all right is that gonna be two feet in it was the same thing and now they give me the touchdown it was the same exact animation all right so look we're gonna try one more time we're gonna take a look at that that triple the two four five odd that's gonna be a little bit more complex because the way that the three the three linemen are down, I'm gonna have to kind of manipulate that a little bit more, but I immediately like the way the triple looked. And I think that we can get very, very good coverage and you know make your make keep your opponent guessing by putting certain players in certain spots. So that's something that we're gonna definitely look into. But let's just get back to that again. And then I'm gonna uh, pretty much let you guys go with it and then we'll go from there and uh, figure it out. We'll, we'll figure it out together. It's not gonna be a big deal. We'll get that done, absolutely. But let's try it one more time and give you guys kind of a sneak peek to probably what you guys are gonna be looking at uh, very soon anyway. So let's spread the D line this time. All right, so spreading the D line does that. The guys are bunched up crazy. That guy, okay, who is that Who is that guy that's coming off? And that's a run play. So that's, they leave a D end in a zone. So you would have to watch that. This is gonna be kind of difficult because when you spread and then you, okay, so that guy will come in there. We'll bring him in a little bit, bring Tillman down. We have soft squats out there. See, this is why it's probably dangerous because you would have to put Jalen Ramsey down a little bit more on the line. You see how dudes, are, okay, so dudes are still getting pancake. That's a good, okay, he just fumbled the ball. Um, dudes are still getting pancake, that's a good thing. So that leads me to believe that even if they've nerfed, um, even if they have nerfed the uh, nasty streak, which we can actually check right now against the computer. Let's see how the computer responds to it. Let's see, what did he got in wing? Okay, they got power G. They don't have the play that I like though, but they got power G. Let me see what happens with this. We're gonna put Thomas out there because supposedly it's supposed to go, um, it's not supposed to activate. Why did he just, why did he go block the wrong person? 
All right, let me, drop on the ground, drop on the ground. Why did he go block the wrong person though? What, what was he doing? Is that what he's supposed to do in that? I don't, this playbook is, is straight garbage. Um, we're gonna motion him out this time because I want to see what he does. Is he gonna make contact and pancake that guy or did EA really just legitimately make it just, oh, let me see what happens. Oh, okay, so, all right, all right, you see what happens? Okay, so they did nerf it. They, they just, they just, okay, they just block him. All right, so that's cool. All right, so I got so much more uh, coming for you guys. Um, I'm gonna take a look at some of the things that you guys are interested in knowing um, as far as like some of the blitz packages, but I'm gonna get some information out, obviously to uh, the members of the channel. You guys have been thirsty. You guys want that new content. You gotta go, bro, let me get some exclusive member content. Uh, I'm gonna get you with that. All right, just dot them. All right, guys, so there's a lot of things happening. If you got any more questions that you need answered as far as the title update, definitely check my Twitter. I've tweeted out um, all the patch notes at G Myers World. Check it out. Let me know what you're thinking. I'm gonna see you guys and girls next time. You enjoy your day. One love, y'all.